Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of the Code Charlie Carryall 28 with scattered rivets. Um, and I'll also show you what can fit in this bag. If you're new to my channel, then thanks for dropping by. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing. If you have already done so, then thanks a lot. So let's get right into it. So this bag is a polished uh, pebble leather. So I had earlier mentioned in one of my videos the difference between a pebble leather which is refined versus polished. So even though it has the pebble design as you can see throughout um, it is still polished. So it doesn't like show in your face you know but it has those pebble things. So it looks really nice and clean. It's not soft to the touch. It feels like leather. There is like some roughness to it. Uh, but it feels polished. It doesn't look bad. Uh, this is in the color moss. So you can see the brown green uh, greenish tinge to it. It's a beautiful color. I don't know if the light is doing justice to it. Um, but it does go I think with most of the outfits. So I'll have to really do a lot of stuffing to see if I can fill it up and bring it shape back. And then hopefully I decide to keep it. Uh, so what it comes with is it comes with one dust bag because it's a retail model so this is the dust bag with the coach horse and carriage and new york um, it comes with one crossbody strap and two small handles so this this handle has a five inch drop okay you can carry it on the crook of your arm but you cannot carry it on your shoulder you can carry it in your hands or just on your arms, but not on your shoulder. It's not that big um, and it's not very stiff. So even if you are wearing this on your shoulder, it just drops, as you can see. It's kind of lost its shape. I'm really feeling sad. So let's take a look at these straps. I'll take it out. So again, it has this clasp, which you can easily put and you can take out. Um, and it's a through and through leather. So what I've noticed is the colors, if you see on this strap, let me get a white background. So the colors on this strap is slightly different on both sides. So on one side, it'll be more brownish. On the other side, it's more greenish. So that's how they have got that glazing kind of look, you know, where it gives you a nice look and you're guessing what color it is. So on one side, it looks like there are stitches. And the other side, it's more plainer look. And the other thing I found, uh, I felt was different. Uh, this is this is a adjustable uh, strap. Um, it has uh, apparently 19 and a half inches drop. So this is the good thing I like about it. So most of the straps, if you remember or if you have seen, is uh, in the crossbody they do come with these uh, holes, and you can adjust it, put it in different holes. But at some point, you'll have that one part hanging, right? And then you have to fit it in. But if you see, it goes through and through. So it doesn't, it gives you a nice clean look. It looks really sophisticated. It doesn't look like, you know, there's one piece hanging and dangling. It gives a nice through and through loop. So this is the first time I've seen in any of my Coach or Michael Coach bags um, where it's already stitched in and you don't have to worry about it hanging and looking dirty. So... I think it's that was really neat. There are uh, engravings of coach around the circle on every piece of hardware. So that's about the strap. Let's get into the bag. So this one has scattered rivets. So the rivets are scattered and there are beautiful details of these tiny flowers, which I've seen on the coach Parker uh, or coach dreamers. You see, so one is pink. One is bluish or grayish and the same thing is here and at the other end and these two are pink and again this one is alternated um, and then there are whole kind of rivets. So it's just really beautiful to look at. There is one hang tag. Again, it, if you see it's like greenish brownish and uh, behind that it's dark. So same, same uh, pattern is throughout the straps as well. You can see a darker color inside. And from outside is where you see the moss color. So let's take a look at inside. So whatever rivets you have on the outside, you can see they are actually dug through. 
the front. And then where you have the coach engraving, you see from inside as well. It looks so pretty, almost like you can reverse it. So there are two huge compartments, right? And there is your coach creed. No letter F because it's a retail model. And there is a, a zipper compartment. So if you look at this, I'll be putting the dimensions uh, either on the screen or in the description box. But they exactly look same, right? So that means both these compartments are equal sized. Um, and then there is a zipper. That's a big zipper, but it doesn't attach to the bottom of the bag. It goes almost to the end. Um, so I don't think anything will slide except for like, for example, this is there. That's actually sliding around. But anything bigger, uh, any papers, it won't slide. Uh, next to the zipper compartment towards the back side, you have these, this one flap. I thought there were two. It's just one flap, but it's a big flap. So you can keep your phone here. So you don't have to open the zipper. But at least there is some organization to keep your phone. With this beautiful bag, I actually forgot of the outside flap. It's not required because it's open. Uh, that's about it. And from the back, this is the groove that you see. And to put the crossbody straps, they have given these hooks from inside at the corners. Okay, so they are alternate corners, but they don't look like they dangle. They are pretty much... Uh, you know, they fit properly. So let's quickly take a look at what we can fit in this bag. So it's a big size bag. I've got my uh, umbrella. I don't think you'll be carrying this with an umbrella, but you know, if you're wearing a nice dress and you are uh, stuck, so it doesn't go fully. Uh, this is a big one. If you have a smaller one than this, it will lie flat. So this one I can put diagonally if I really need to. Um, so it shows up like this. So let me take this out. The next item that can go easily is a big water bottle. So let's drop that in. Um, I have my makeup pouch and I'm going to drop that in the front to give it equal shape. Then I think I don't have my sunglasses case. I took it out. Um, but I do have another sunglasses case. Uh, this is of my kit. So if you have a pouch like this or anything bigger, that can easily go as well. There's a lot of space. Um, I do have a medium sized wallet. So I can drop that in. Here's my phone. Uh, this is the iPhone 6s. So let me try putting this in the back flap so there is enough room to go there so i can easily put in my iphone 11 pro as well so that's it and so i do have the um, medium wallet i can either put it flat if i don't have my water bottle let's see i keep my water bottle straight actually okay but it look a little ugly because it is reaching the top um, but just in case you need to, you can. So you can fit a water bottle, you can fit your sunglasses, uh, and you can fit your wallet. And your long full-size wallet also can go, but it can go horizontally. Uh, what else? I have, and then you can uh, definitely put your sanitizer or face mask inside or use this let's see if i can put my small wallet if i don't carry a large wallet i have a small wallet so i can put the small wallet in the middle compartment yeah so another thing i forgot to mention is it has feet so whatever you put it's going to stand so right now it's too much inclined in front or reclining in front because I have this huge water bottle. So if I don't carry a water bottle, I may put this uh, makeup pouch in the back. I do feel the back one is slightly bigger than the front com uh, compartment. 
um, I wish there was a button to just close it but it doesn't matter it doesn't look too gapingly open but this is how it looks so right now with the minimal things that I have there is a wallet a small wallet inside the zipper uh, there is a makeup pouch there is a phone and there is a glasses case and you can easily put your keys in the front uh, let me see if I can put the medium sized wallet in the middle one okay it goes uh, I think you can full in, put in your full size wallet as well there's a lot of space here so let me close this and see how it looks so I hope you all enjoyed this video I am going to be putting mod shots if, I, if you have not already seen it in the video I'll be putting it throughout um, different places to show you how it looks uh, by holding it um, directly on your shoulder or putting it on crossbody and as well as holding it like a such so hope you all enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and um, let me know if you like this bag or if you already have this bag if you're enjoying it i love to hear from you thanks for watching and happy shopping